Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. This video, I'll be taking a look at the filament poop catcher for the Cobra 3 version 2. Let's scratch today's project. The Cobra 3, when it starts a print, when it changes filament, purge out some filament, and then it shoots the filament out to wherever, who knows what, right? So it just shoots the filament, and then it's gone forever. You cannot find it because it's very small, and it actually slings pretty hard. So then I made a poop catcher for the Cobra 3, which is still attached back there, and it works wonderful. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link down below. But for today, I redesigned it, added some new things, and this one will be so much better than the older version. The older version, people keep saying that sometimes it shoots and then the filament is gonna go off to the side or something like that. And I did have that happen with me quite a lot now. When the bin is empty, it shoots the filament and then it hits this and it falls down. Sometimes it stuck here because the filament is still super hot, but when the bin is getting filled up, like closer to the top, it hits the filament that's already inside the bin and then it just went out and instead of getting to the bin. So I had that problem with mine too. This was the old style, as you can see here. This is where it attached. It has this wire that goes up to prevent filament from coming out this way. And then it has this wall, but once it fills up into like this and the filament keeps getting stuck right here, it shoots and then hits and then it just flew off. So this new redesign, I make this I make the wall taller, as you can see for comparison. I doubled the height of it, and I kind of doubled the wall that the filament hits, so that even when this kind of fills up all the way here, it will not go out anywhere. You can see the difference wall behind there. It's this one is significantly so much better. And based on my opinion, the most improvement of this design here is right here, the dovetail joint. I actually doubled the size of this thing. The version 1, the connection only comes up until here. But then I print the big bin back there, and I noticed that when filaments are filling up, it kind of does that. And I think if there's way too thin, there's a chance it might break. So I doubled the size of the joint, to make it more secure. And I would like to give a huge shout out to Badger Milk for this model. He remixed my poop catcher and have this thing right here. This is for the camera for the Cobra 3. It mounts directly right here. So it sits like that on the 3D printer. And then you put your camera right here and then it shows it from the right side instead of from the left side right there. So I will show you all of this in a bit, but I just want to point out his design right here. I'll leave a link down below for his design. If you are interested, you can go ahead and download it for yourself if you want the camera to be on the right side instead of the left side on the Cobra 3. So for his model, here is the place where you can mount the camera, which you can 3D print this. Everything will be in the description down below. You just slide it in right here. Then it will snap fit so you have a right mount camera which is very nice so i so i took that idea and integrated it into my own design right here i added this spot so that you can just mount the camera you just slide it in it has a very nice it has a very nice fit tolerance as you hear there and it does not go anywhere from there it's it's actually really cool. So huge shout out to Badger Milk on Maker Online for giving me the idea of a right camera mount. So for reference, like this, once it's filled up like this, it shoots the poop, it hits this, and then it just fall out. As you can see over here, a couple pieces has fallen out. <laughs> so in case you didn't know, you can remove this piece from the Corva 3 with just two screw at the back here. And then this piece will be able to come off. So this is mounted like this. It has a screw down here for it to mount directly to this slingshot piece. And has this tiny piece so that it clips on. Quickly just for comparison, old version, new version. This is actually a lot taller. Like that. It's, it's a lot taller just for the camera. And the connection down here is actually quite longer. So that it has more to attach to and it does not break. Or anything like that but other than that everything is basically the same and a huge different size for the bin look at that i'm going to pour this into the new bin and see how much it actually feels that's for comparison of the back wall for the poops to hit so let's pour it in here and all the stuck film in and look at that all empty and it's about only halfway to it so you still have the other half to go 
which is really nice. And would you look at my poop collection? It's in a box. Let's see. And it's actually quite a lot. Oh my gosh. So let's get this thing put together and back onto the 3D printer. You just snap on to the back like this. The clip right here will clip in just like that. Very easy, very simple. Use the screw that it comes with, put it back together. Make sure this thing can still run smoothly and it can. And now it's time to put it back to the 3D printer. Oh yeah, this fits so well. Look at that, look at that. It looks so cool. I did not realize this design of this curvature right here was very smart of me earlier on because when I try pushing this thing in it gets contact with this wheel so it cannot go in it hits this I will redesign and cut this part out right here well basically you will get the correct version the version where I cut this out and so that it fits there the tension knob but other than that everything fits Perfect. Okay, so I cut this piece off and now I'm gonna be putting on two here And it fits perfectly now As you can see right there, right? It's taller than this wheel knob here. So it's hitting it But since I trimmed that off it doesn't hit anymore and now it fits perfectly and now we can put the camera Here just like so fits so snugly and look at that it's quite high up so that it does not hit this that's a very nice all in one package right there compared to this this is still a really good angle but that's just if you want to put it on the right side with this filament poop catcher that will be it for this video of me redesigning the filament poop catcher to have a camera have more capacity and a stronger connection between the bin and that thing right there if you want to have this design and don't want film and poop all over your house just like this t-shirt right here i pooped film it you can also grab it down in the description down below of my merch go ahead and download this model and put it onto your cobra 3 let me know how you like this design versus the first design thank you so much for downloading my first version of the film and poop we are trending number one on maker online just the other day i post a short on it so go ahead and download this version 2 so that we'll be number one trending again on maker online it's a really good feeling and i have all of you guys to thank you so thank you so much and as always keep on 3d printing